This is an essay on journalism coming to you now from NBC News in New York, written by me, a reporter who's been around for a while. That's called a lead. Who, what, when, and where. John Chancellor talking about his favorite subject. Hello, I'm Tom Brokaw. Journalism was always more than just a job to John. It was a craft, a calling, a civic duty. John loved being a reporter, and he devoted himself to it all of his professional life. He cared about the fundamentals, and his work was distinguished by uncommon clarity and restraint. All that made him a shining example to so many of us who followed. And John's values are embodied to this day in the award that bears his name. He didn't start as an anchorman. John's first love was print. Chicago newspapers, and it shaped his world. The First Amendment says if you can get a press, and you can get some ink, and you can get some type and paper, you can say anything you want. This is John Chancellor on the 23rd floor of the Conrad Hilton. He got into television when it was new, brought what he learned about journalism with him, and never forgot it. The number of guards with the nine Negro students has been considerably diminished. John's civil rights reporting from Little Rock not only set a standard for television news, it won the respect of his print competitors as well. I'm in custody. And remember his famous line as he was escorted off the floor of the 1964 Republican convention? This is John Chancellor somewhere in custody. <laughs> well, here's what he said on the air just before that. I formally say that this is a disgrace, that the press should be allowed and the radio and television should be allowed to do their work at a convention on television. It was no joke to John. There was a journalistic principle involved. John understood the power of television news, but he wasn't seduced by it. Television coverage is important only when what it is covering is important. Then television coverage can make history move much faster. He witnessed and reported on lots of history during his years on the air. What we saw is impossible to forget and necessary to remember. President Carter today condemned the Soviet-sponsored coup d'etat in Afghanistan. The Watergate bugging case tops the news tonight. In other words, live with it. And he came face to face with many of the people who made that history. Mr. Chancellor, it depends upon the people of South Vietnam. John Chancellor was among the best known journalists in the world. But by choice and by temperament, he always took a back seat to the story itself. There are many perplexities about this conflict. He was determined to know and understand and explain the events of the day. To John, that was a public trust, and it was his passion. There's a little secret about journalism. We would do it for free if that were possible, but they actually pay us to do it. Since 1995, the John Chancellor Award for Excellence in Journalism has helped keep those values alive by recognizing them in others. Some of the most talented, if not always the best known journalists of our time. I know that John would be impressed with all of them and proud that they have been honored in his name. So as we begin this special 20th anniversary evening, a final word of advice to us all from John himself. Get it right. Do the job the way it's supposed to be done. There's an old saying in Chicago journalism that applies here. You say your mother loves you, check it out.